Today we are going to change the shower hose. This is one of the most common jobs that you have to do with a shower. If you have a shower at some point you are going to have to replace the hose. The hose normally goes wrong here where the hose joins the shower head. It often breaks here if you are using the head to wash your hair then um, this is the point that it usually becomes faulty. It's not normally an issue for me. The, um, the, you may need some tools for this. The only thing you're likely to need is a pair of pliers and perhaps an old rag. Um, so first of all what we've got to do is disconnect the hose from the shower unit. Which is fairly simple, just unscrew. It should normally be hand tight. You may have to use the pliers if it's very tight. But this should unscrew and then that we remove that part from there. But one of the things you have to be very aware of with the shower, shower hose is it's always best to try and get the manufacturer's, the original manufacturer's equipment. Although the hoses all look the same, they are very different. Um, I'll let you see. So these are the different types of um, hoses. The, um, although the hoses themselves are all very similar, the cones at the end, in fact, are different. This, the original one that we're going to change, is a Triton cone. Um, and these ones are just ones from various manufacturers. It's difficult to see, but the cones have different tapers. Also, they're different lengths. And this affects the way that they fit into the shower head holder. And the universal one will fit virtually all holders. But in a moment, I'll show you why, where the difference is. And now, just to show the difference between the different types of cones on the end of the shower heads. This is the original Triton one again, and you can see it fits in here really snugly, holds the head nice and tightly, and, um, and it's, it's really just a perfect fit. What I'm going to do is pop another one or two of the other cones in here and show you um, the difference. You see, this one fits in quite well. It's got a nice long grip, but in fact, it's very, in fact, it's very easy to turn. The head will slip round, and so when you've got the head in here, there's a chance of the head turning round each way. Although this fits reasonably well. It's still not a perfect fit. It's, it's a bit sloppy when it's in the uh, in the shower head bracket. This one again is a much shorter one and the problem with this is that although it's not it's not got very much grip it's actually the cone's only gripping at the very edge of the bracket so that once again it's not a perfect fit. And finally we have the universal hose which fits everything and fits everything reasonably well but as you can see when you press that in you'll see it's got a tendency to squeeze back out again. And so this universal end will fit just about everything, but the advantage of using a genuine manufacturer's part is quite clear. Beautiful tight fit as this slips in here. So it needs to be tightened a wee bit. But that's, that's a, a nice tight fit for the, um, for the shower. Now we get round to actually changing the hose. The only tool you're likely to need is a pair of pliers and perhaps an old rag. Um, and so it's, it's normally fairly simple to just unscrew the old hose. Occasionally you may use, need to use a pair of pliers if it's become very tight, but normally it's just hand tight and unscrewing the old hose. Uh, one of the things to remember is to remove the, uh, remove the existing old washer. Keep that washer, it can become very handy. And then all we need to do is put the new hose in. There's always washers supplied with the new hose, so we just pop the washer in and screw up like so. And normally hand tight's good enough, and that should be it. And then we just need to do the one at the shower head end. Pop that one out and screw the hose. Put the new hose into place and the washer press the washer at home and screw the hose and the shower head back together. Occasionally what you can, can happen is you can have a problem with one of the ends leaking and the way around that is just to reuse the old washer and so what we'll then do is unslack in here and put the other washer in here and double washer this and with the two washers in you can be pretty certain that it will be watertight. And that's it. Once this is screwed up we can now have a shower and test it. If in the unlikely event you've got a leak at one of the other ends, then you may have to tighten it up using the pliers. Now, you don't want to put pliers on a nice new piece of chrome. So what we'll need is the, is the rag. Can you pass me your shirt? 
yeah, this shirt will do fine. And so what we do is just wrap wrap some protect something protective around the around the um, the chrome and we give it just a final little nip up and that's it. And so there you have it. A fairly simple job fitting the shower hose over and done. Now have a shower.